Thank you. Uh, good morning, Chairman, Co-Chairman, Ladies and Gentlemen. Today, I would like to present a descriptive study of compatibility of anterolateral distal tibial locking compression plate in the Asian population. My name is Dr. Kanapacharan Pong. My advisor are Associate Professor Anupong Lapun Langsi and Assistant Professor Natapon Janpanit with collaboration from Faculty of Engineering, Gasetsa University. The use of pre contour plate is increasing due to the advance in minimally invasive surgery. Anatomical plate has been designed based on Caucasian population model. There are significant difference in bone morphology between Asian and Caucasian population, which has resulted in plate incompatibility. Incompatibility in plate prominence and angulation can cause soft tissue irritation, malalignment, malangulation, and malrotation. This study evaluated the compatibility of anterolateral distal tibial LCP pre-contour plates and tibial of member of the Asian population. We look at the plate to bone distance and rotational incompatibility. We began with a pilot study to determine the necessary sample size. We determined that the sample size should be 50 tibias. We made 3D model of 52 normal tibias using CT scans. There was a wide range in tibial length. The average was about 336 millimeter. We made 3D model of 17 holes plate using a 3D scanner. 17 holes is the longest plate available in Thailand. The anterolateral distal tibial lock compression plate has two planes, anterior and lateral. We have categorized the plates into three zones. The distal zone is the most important. Any plate prominence can irritate tendon and affect the neurovascular structure. In transition zone, hole number one to number four, the plate change from the anterior plane to the lateral plane. In this zone, each screw hole has a different shape and angle. The hole in the proximal zone, the fifth to 17 holes, all have a similar shape and angle. Pre-contour plate were aligned in virtual environments using VC software version 17. All must meet the criteria of plate fitting method before proceed to the next step. The first step is initial distal alignment. The distal end of the plate must be 10 mm above and parallel to the joint line. Screw must not penetrate the articular surface. In second step, the plate is aligned so that the distance between the anterior cortex and the dis both distal end is less than 0.5 mm. The final step is proximal alignment. The end of the plate is aligned with the mid midline of the tibia. We use plate to bone distance and transfer angle to define plate compatibility. For each of 17 holes, the distance from bone surface to the center of locking screw should be less than 2 mm. A distance greater than 2 mm was considered to be an incompatibility. We measure the transfer angulation from 5th to 17th screw hole. The transfer angle is the angle between the plate and the bone in transfer plane. An angle greater than 10 degrees was considered to be an incompatibility. We found that all screw holes except the fifth were incompatible. Transferred angles were acceptable only at screw holes 7 and 14 to 17. An incompatibility of more than 2 mm can result in malangulation and weaken the entire construct. We found potential plate incompatibility with plate length greater than 6 screw holes. Similarly, 
a transverse angle greater than 10 degree can cause malrotation. In Asian population, using the anatomical plate to guide fracture reduction, there is a high possibility of malreduction. Our conclusion is that surgeons operating on members of the Asian population should be aware of the potential of incompatibility with all plate lengths. Thank you.